We will not be dragged back to the bad old days. That was the promise from Prime Minister David Cameron today at a summit aimed at tackling racist abuse in football. The meeting at Downing Street was attended by former players and football bosses. And the tough talking has been welcomed by campaigners in our region, as Stuart Winkup reports. Today the Prime Minister promised to tackle football's racists. Oh, that's dreadful the way they're shouting every time Sean Wright Phillips gets anywhere near the ball. A string of high-profile incidents have brought the issue of racism in the game back into the spotlight, and it's happening at every level. We had a corner, so I've kind of backed, me, uh, back, backed into the goalkeeper, and he's gone, you black this, you black that. I was like, kind of, where did that come from? Do you know what I mean? I thought we'd come past that. Trevor Benjamin is a former professional footballer who was abused while playing in the Northern League with Morpeth Town. You feel hurt, you feel everything, you feel angry, you feel... You feel everything all at once coming to you at once and um, kind of after the game you kind of sit back and really think about it and it's kind of it's even worse than what you was on on the pitch. Trevor was joined by other former professionals this afternoon at an event organized by the campaign group Show Racism the Red Card. I'm not sure if it's getting better or worse what I'm, what I'm aware is is that you know uh, people are, are ready um, to report things now and um, you know when you when when maybe a couple of years ago they were not and uh, I think I think you know black people Muslim travelers um, just had enough of being persecuted black players are no longer having bananas thrown at them but campaigners say the battle against prejudice on the pitch will continue as long as there are racists in society Stuart Wincup BBC Look North Hartlepool